For Christians, Easter is a religious holiday that celebrates Jesus' resurrection. But the Bible definitely doesn't say anything about a giant bunny that delivers colorful eggs and candy to kids. So where did the idea of an Easter bunny come from? There are a couple different theories about its origins. The first ever documented mention of an Easter bunny is believed to have come in 1682 by a German doctor named George Frank von Frankenau. He published a somewhat bizarre 16-page dissertation in a collection of medical essays in which he warns readers about the dangers of eating colorful eggs laid by a local mythical rabbit-like creature called the Osterhase, saying eating such eggs could cause stomach aches. Osterhase is German for Easter hare. Since eggs were traditionally considered a forbidden food during Lent, many people would have a surplus of them on Easter. For centuries, both rabbits and eggs had been traditional symbols of not only spring, but also concepts like fertility and rebirth, which made them perfect for a certain holiday focusing on resurrection. Some theorize that eventually these disparate but similar springtime symbols all got mashed together into one idea of an anthropomorphic egg-delivering bunny. The concept of the Easter Bunny made its way to the US in the 1700s with German immigrants who were settling in Pennsylvania. In order to receive colorful eggs from the Osterhase, children would build small nests for it to lay its eggs. Eventually, these nests would morph into the Easter baskets children know today, which are now more often filled with jelly beans and chocolate eggs instead of real eggs, to the delight of most children, it's safe to assume. While the Easter Bunny is probably the most well-known animal associated with the holiday, certain countries have other traditional symbols instead. In fact, Australia has the Easter Bilby, Switzerland has the Easter Cuckoo, and Sweden even has Easter witches.